Andrew Tate has apostatized from Islam. Sort of. Also, Andrew Tate has followed the example of his prophet. Is that a contradiction? No. That's Islam. Let's go! As you probably know, Elon Musk has bought Twitter and is making some changes. This week, he on-banned con artist, misogynist, and revert to Islam, Andrew Tate. Oh, no! Tate wasted no time using his new platform to display his unique mix of stupidity, ego, and masculinity? Whoa! He quickly promised $10,000 to whoever would give him the best compliment. Select your player! And retweeted one of his favorites. Who is Cobra Tate to me? He is my lord and savior. He has saved my life from the Matrix. He will forever be my god, father from above. He is the Matrix. He is God. Cobra Tate will never be replaced, ever. Thank you, Cobra Tate, for saving my life once again. Shout out to Wyatt for supplying the screenshot. Be sure to check out his channel, linked below. Now, let's read that again. He is my Lord and Savior. He is my God. Oh, stop it! In Islam, there's a term for this. And that term is... Hurry up already! Shirk. The worst sin one can commit. Mamma mia! It takes one out of Islam, and under Sharia, carries the death penalty. Many Muslims in the comments took note. People who say Cobra Tate is on the same level as God is an act of sin of idolatry or polytheism, shirk. In Islam, it is against the teachings of Islam. Cobra Tate retreating this is also an act of sinfulness and transgression. I don't think Cobra Tate is a Muslim. Oh! Retweeting this is a major disbelief on your part, Cobra Tate. I suggest you remove this tweet, repent, study Tawhid, monotheism, and then retake your Shahada. Not again! <laughs> However, other Muslims disagreed and acted like it was no big deal. Oh yeah! Andrew is not God, but he's surely one of Allah's, God's, special creation. Praise the Lord for creating him and appreciate his existence. Yippee! Calm down, my brother. He was not yet truly learned the faith. His journey is up to him and Allah, not up to us Jews. If we support him, we should try to correct with good intention. Hope you're doing well, my brother. So, who is right? Was Andrew committing shirk? Or is this no big deal in Islam? Might I suggest both? Okie dokie! Tate clearly accepted worship and allowed himself to put on the same level as God. However, Muhammad is supposed to be the perfect example for Muslims to follow. And he did the same. It's a play! Um Salem came and found Muhammad sweating. She opened her scent bag and began to fill the bottles. Muhammad said, What are you doing? She said, Allah's Messenger, we seek blessings for our children through your sweat. Thereupon, Muhammad retweeted it. I mean, he said, You have done something right. Fantastico! Furthermore, Allah happily takes Muhammad as his partner. Ooh. If you need instructions on how to commit the shuk, check out the enclosed coronavirus. It is not for a believing man or a believing woman when Allah and his messenger have decided a matter that they should thereafter have any choice about their affair. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger has certainly strayed into clear air. So, Muslims, if you're bothered by Tate's comments, why are you not bothered by Muhammad? Could it be because deep down you know that the only god of Islam is Muhammad and Allah is just his alter ego? Let me know your answer in the comments. This, this is the best advertisement for Islam that's ever existed in the world. Game over!